that Riley came running into my office and he's just like, he goes, he goes, yeah. we, we, this is the main story. Oh, the, yeah. This is the main story. Um, there are some big topics that we talked about today and some, you know, pretty heavy topics, but this is, this is a big story. Chris Hemsworth, Thor himself, will be playing Terry Bollea, a.k.a. the Hulkster, Hulk Hogan, in a biopic. Um, there's two sides of me. There's a side that loves this. My 13-year-old self loves it. Can't wait to see the Hulkster because I can see Chris Hemsworth. I can see him as Hulk Hogan. Yeah. I can see him walking down there in, in 1980s with Nikolai Volkov and the Iron Sheik and then playing as who's going to play Randy Savage, what's going to happen when he goes to the NWO, all that stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, there's the other side that he is a producer on the movie. So we're getting the... Not Chris, Hulk. Hulk Correct. Yeah. Hulk Hogan is... Because we have... Um, that clarification. Not the Hulk. Hulk. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Well, because we have... Cause what's, and, and Todd Phillips is directing, right? That's Todd great. Phillips directing. Yeah. It's great. The the there's going to be a lot of people who didn't like Bohemian Rhapsody, right? Who are going to feel the same way about this movie because Hulk Hogan's a producer on it. There's a lot of um, bad shit on the Hulk Hogan side. Now, there's not even the stuff that happened recently where he, he was caught saying a lot of racist shit. Um, there's not there, there's the sex tape that he that he had with Bubba the Love Sponge's wife that went to and, the, and he shut down Gawker because mm -hmm. of it. They're not going to cover any of that stuff. Um, and then there's the, the it's in the small or well, the steroid scandal. They're going to go through that. I don't know. But there's also the main stuff, too. He was a notorious dick. He was a, the wrestlers did not like him. He was backstage politics. He fucked people over. He this. wouldn't let people go over uh, in wrestling terms. You know, when you put someone over, he wouldn't let a lot of people What's do that it. Mean? So, so if you and I, if you and I are, are, are wrestling, if, ho if I'm like the guy, right? And like. Josh McCuga is like the next up and coming star. Oh. It's like, look, Hulk, put put McCuga over tonight. You know, like put him over. Like let him let him like let, let him, him shine. Win. Let him win. Uh, let him you know let him win. Like you know he, he wouldn't put him over. And he, he yeah. just he, he and for some of it it worked. But then we went to WCW and he did the same thing. And a lot of people blame him for the decline because he was well they 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 give him applause for the, the up and up of what happened to WCW because he was the first big star and they started to shine. But then they gave him a lot of creative control and a lot of people said that's when it started to hit the ground. Him and Vince Russo and and a lot of other things. So. Um, I don't think they're going to cover any of that. I think they're going to glorify Hogan, and the reason why is because right now they want to give Hogan a comeback in the WWE, not as a not as a wrestler, but as like a manager and put him over with the fans again, right? Mm -hmm. But that's hard to do still. I mean, he was able to do it because Mean Gene Oakland just passed away, did a speech. People love to see him back. But to have him back in the fold all the time, a lot of the backstage wrestlers don't want it, but... Um, you can see if if he's painted in this light and everyone loves Hulkamania all over again and Chris Hemsworth, Thor, brings him back, he's going to be popular again and then, then the WWE is going to be able to usher him back in. I think that's going to happen. The selfer side of me is okay with it. The other the side, side of you? The selfer side, the, the 12-year-old that wants to see Hulk Hogan again in all of his glory but played by Chris Hemsworth fighting Macho Man Randy Savage for the title and, and watching how it all came to be. Like that part of me, like the fantasy element is like, yeah, because it's going to be – you're not going to get the real story. You're just not. It's it's going to be more of like – See, now I'm soured by this whole yeah. thing. Yeah. I don't know though. I just that's how I feel. I was hoping they'd go all in and cover not. everything. And no, they're not. That's exactly what you said is exactly from the report. Not? Yes, yeah. the, the biopic thing. will not delve into mm. the, those years or attempt to encompass Hogan's entire life. Instead, sources say it will focus on his rise mm. and is described as an orange origin story of the Hulkster and Hulkamania. Yeah. And that's so gonna be, so like it's going to be just wants to remind people of the good old days, basically. Yeah, it's, yeah. it'll be a little bit more. I bet you, it, I bet you, explores more than may, maybe not his it's personality just, being a dick. Maybe like I, go there. They might, they might not though. But I think they're going to go. They're going to probably get to because what he happened is his career was very interesting. Like he was doing all this. Like he was. When you're going to look at the success of what back then was the WWF. Um, now the WWF was Vince McMahon. So what they used to do is. Wrestling was big. They would hit territories. And I remember watching that in the Under the Giant documentary. Right. So there were territories all across mm -hmm. the country, and then like, and each promoter had like their territory. And if you had like the East Coast, and you were like, it looked like like mob, like mobs. Right? If you had the East Coast, you were like the guy. Um, Vince McMahon's dad had like the East Coast, and then Vince McMahon Jr., who we all know now, he started to get a hold of it. And he's like, I want to televise all this stuff, and I want to get everybody. And I want to turn it into one big thing and not just territory. And that's what he started to do. But he started to get all the big stars. And then Hogan, like, so Hogan and Vince's dad had a big falling out. He left. Then Hogan, because, because Hogan wanted to do Rocky Three, and they told him no. Hogan smartly went and did it, blew him up. And then they say, we got to get Hogan back. 
They took him away from whatever federation he was in, gave him the title shot against the Iron Sheik. He beats him in the Madison Square Garden in 1984, and Hulkamania is born. From 84 to 88, he was the champion. I mean, Jesus. That's, that's like a, that's, Does that happen anymore? No, not, not for that, not for that amount of time. Uh, somebody in the chat actually said it's going to focus on his first WWE championship. The, oh, yeah, when, he, when, he beats, yeah. when he beats the Iron Sheik in uh, 84? This is something THR Scoop reveals that will focus on his rise to superstardom in his first WWE championship. So it'll end It'll end with him beating the Iron Sheik in Madison Square Garden. That's interesting because then you're not going to... That's a true the, origin story. Yeah, well, then you're not going to see... I mean, you might still see Andre the Giant because him and Andre were boys. And, and him and Andre used to... The funny thing is everyone always remembers that WrestleMania three match, the Andre the Giant versus Hogan. They had fought many times before that when Hogan was a heel. They fought like back in the day. They fought. I think it was at Yankee Stadium. I think they fought also. Like, and Hogan was the heel, and Andre used to just fuck him up. Yeah, but is somebody like if you're a cat, you're not like a super wrestling fan, but you're sort of like a casual wrestling fan. What mm-hmm. would you want to see? It it's hard because I, I definitely don't have that same attachment to him that Christian does. Right. So I look at him as somebody who was great at what he did, who has said incredibly racist things and has done some really slimy things, and I don't want to see somebody who is racist and slimy succeed. Now, I'm not saying that Christian does want to see that. I'm I'm just saying that I don't have that same attachment because it was also a different era. Like, I've more gotten into wrestling recently, and I'm dabbling, and I'm liking what I'm seeing, and I've gone back a little bit. But I've also – it was interesting because I kind of got in a debate with Satin yesterday in the – in the office because Adam was like every single person all wrestlers hate him and I'm friends with a lot of wrestlers and I haven't found that to be the case they don't mm-hmm. all hate him but and he's he's there's a majority I, I get him, what though. he's saying but I I've heard from a lot of people that there is another side to him and I don't know him but I want to see his story obviously you can't cover all that an entire movie it's more like a mini series and I, I think the stuff that is more realistic is the stuff and the stuff that that comes after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that comes we'll after. But I get what yeah, they're because, doing. Yeah, because if I, if I if I were him, I and I actually want to get into people's good graces. I would just try to be as honest as possible mm-hmm. and like and make this movie, you know, not just an origin story, but talk about all this other crap. Because it, I think it's interesting that Chris Hemsworth actually signed on to this, knowing all this it's, controversy. Well, there's a question. Know? There's a question though too, because the question then can be. Well, there's two questions I have for you. Well, the, the first, the first is if let's say because it's a Netflix movie. Right. So what if Netflix has as if, it, if they're only covering up to 84, they can do like three movies. Yeah. Because Hogan's got a lot going on yeah. as far as this. If they just did the glorified version, if they're just covering up until 84 when he won, he like I said, he went from 84 to 88 with a lot of shit going down with a lot of great matches and a lot of things that happened. And then they're not even talking about the WCW stuff when he turned heel and all, it's big stuff that they could do. So if they sign on for like a series of movies with him, if they think it's going to do well, that might be a possibility to cover it. Now, the other thing I was going to ask you, you said something in the first hour about Jesse Smollett, right? Yeah. And you said like the about rede- redemption. About redemption. Jesse Smollett. You call Smollett. Smolders. Smolders. I did it again. It's the second time I did it. Um, but but I almost like that you don't know his name. I, yeah. I, <laughs> I think it's better. I just don't know his name. Um, Choo Choo Bailey. Yeah. But but <laughs> what you said about redemption, though, too, Hogan has come out and apologized. He has come out and he's apologized to people in the back, backstage. He's, he's done that. So, so is so going off of what you just said before, do you think that he could be redeemed with a, with an actual apology? I think that what Darina just said is is part of the apology process. Yeah. Like kind of like when we interviewed uh, – Lilo Brancato, the fact that what he showed showed what a a piece of crap he was at the time, I think actually made people like him more. I'm not talking about my personal opinion. No, because he didn't hold back and he wasn't trying to hide anything. He showed that he was a piece of crap with what he did. And if he had tried to say, I wasn't a piece of crap, what I did was right and I was wronged, then I think that it was not an apology. Um, Now, taking him aside because it's a completely different situation, if if Hulk faces this straight on and does something like that, I think that that's redemption. I think just showing the good parts of you and reminding everybody you were the champ, is that redemption? No, you're not wrong. I think that's going to be one of the biggest criticisms. It certainly is the big criticism that Satin had when I was talking to him yesterday. It's a, it's a fluff piece. It definitely is a fluff piece. I just it it goes back to it's the, probably going to be a great uh, great um, athlete story. What's that, that called? Yeah, great no, sports no, sports movie. movie. Yeah. That, sports I, 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 it's I a great athlete story. <laughs> I, I think that I think it's a that's sci-fi fantasy. Our right. brains. Well, I told you. Yeah, but go back go back to Bohemian Rhapsody too. Right, it's the same thing. Like do, rap. the reason that that. Dorina did not like it, right? For those particular reasons, um, maybe she won't like this movie though too, because this is going to be very similar. In this is going to be where, as where Bohemian Rhapsody was a music film, right? It was about the music, it was about the concert at the end. It was a concert movie. 
It no. wasn't, though. It was at the end. It was a concert. Yeah, film. yeah, yeah. But yeah. it wasn't a concert movie. They tried to touch on his story. Yeah, uh, and, yeah. And it, and it was, but it was that's, more like that's behind the part. The... Yeah, but that's the part that made the movie very black and white, right? right. Like, I want to see, like, everybody is gray. Like, yeah, well, every human it, is great. So yes. I want to see the messiness you, you, as well, because well, right. that's you're a not realistic gonna, You're not going to like this thing, because this is going to be a feel-good sports movie about a, about a guy who what, came up where he was from, Minnesota or whatever, too, and then winds up Being becoming... one of the greatest be, wrestlers of all time. Becoming the biggest star, and, and remember, and they're not going to cover... If they're only covering 84, that means mm-hmm. they're not going to cover WrestleMania with Mr. T and Roddy Piper. That was the thing that made... If WrestleMania won in 1985 fails... We do not have a WWE today. Mm. It, it's it's over. Mm-hmm. Um, and the main event for that was Hogan and Mr. T versus Roddy Piper and Cowboy Bo- Cowboy Bob Orton. And like Muhammad Ali was there, Liberace was there. I mean, it was it was huge. It was a. I mean, those are like the biggest yeah. stars no, of yeah. the day. And it was at Silverdome, right in Detroit. No, it was at the Garden. Oh, Madison Garden. Square Garden. Silver. That was, was that was WrestleMania three. Oh, that was the big one. Yeah, that was yeah. that was ninety three thousand people showed up for the Andre versus yeah. Hogan. But yeah, and Randy Savage fought Steamboat. It's still the best WrestleMania of all time. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry if you don't believe me. No, no, no. It's it's cool. Uh, I I just for me, who, a person that doesn't care about wrestling at all, and who knows the the surface level story of Hulk Hogan of like he did this, he did that. Da, 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 da. I don't think you know as much as you think you know though about him though. I mean, I've seen so many wrestling documentaries yeah. to know that I like. I know. Here's the thing: is I don't like wrestling at all, but I love documentaries and I love scripted things about wrestling. Like I love the movie The Wrestler. Right. And I'm looking forward to seeing Fighting with My Family because it's a movie and I don't have to sit through all the BS right. that is wrestling. Um, so I'm looking forward to that movie too. By the way, it's so yeah, good. Yeah. Did you see it? <laughs> You know what my favorite movie of the year so far is? Don't, don't say it. You shouldn't have said that. Creed. You know why you shouldn't have it's said Roma. that? Because I had a little announcement for you. Oh, did you? But now you said it, so oh, I'm not going to give you an okay. announcement. Well, I didn't say anything about you, did I? No, Six you didn't. months later. No, I, I, got, I, got a, I think I got a package in my house. Oh, that's coming, okay. And, and it, might, it might have your name on it. Yeah. I take it back. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what I will say, here's one other point, though, that we did not bring up. Because we don't know if, indeed, this movie covers from his rise until 84, mm-hmm. which is just covering that time period. What if they show, and I think you you said it, um, if they show how he was as a person throughout that time, competitive and all that stuff, but that's all they're covering because all the other stuff, the the comments that he made, the steroid stuff. It's a different movie. It's a different time. Yeah. It's when he was older. So they're only covering. If they said, "Listen, we're like we're going to show you who Hogan was back then. We're going to show you the real person, but we're only going to show you from like when he was born in the fifties up until like eighty four. Yeah. So if they cover it and it's like a real legit movie, then is there still a, a concern because they're showing you who he was? They're just not covering that time period. Like their argument could be, "Well, what do you want us to do? Just shoehorn that in there? That's not right. the part of his story we're telling right now." I think it would kind of be, and I'm sorry if this is insensitive, but like regardless of your issues with Bo Rap, it would be like saying, okay, we're going to cover Freddie Mercury, but prior to... Him, him just making the band? Yeah, like that. It, I think it's, yeah. It doesn't quite make right. sense. I don't know, I th- but I think sports You're not are, being honest with the audience. I don't know. I think, like. uh, see, I think sports could be different. You're not part of the story that people are trying to hear. It depends on which some people maybe want want to see how he rose. Maybe, totally, maybe, and I actually do yeah. want but, to see that. But you can do both, though. Well, you could, but again, maybe... This uh, should be a, once a again, series. It yeah. could be absolutely. I think you're yeah. right. I think a series or at least three or four films. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. if if they come out of Todd Phillips down the line says, listen, we talked Hemsworth and we we have him on for three movies. We're just covering from eighty from from fifty something to eighty four, and then we're going to cover from eighty four up until the WCW. Then we're going to cover from the WCW up until all this shit went down with Gawker. See, I hate that. I love it. I don't care. <laughs> like, I, like, do you know what I mean? Like, a biopic sequel? Like, who fucking cares? We can read about it. That's why I feel like this should have been, like, an eight-part uh, Versace series. Like, oh, like, 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 like I give you the OJ series, yeah. but, like, yeah. a three-part movie thing? Like, oh, uh, here what, comes more. No, but what's, what's he's the a producer between, on the movie. Yeah, so, what's, what's the difference between eight episodes, like, ten episodes of a miniseries as opposed to three movies? What's the difference? Josh and I love TV. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's easier to ingest at that eight-episode length than it would be, <laughs> two oh, hours, i got to wait another two hours, three, another two hour year movie. to go see this. I mean, well, no, but if it's Netflix, you know, they could do, I don't know. Who knows? The chances are of them doing other movies is zero percent. They're doing one movie, Hogan wants to do this movie. And then it gets put back over in WWE, and then that's his life is. is great again. And then yeah, other producers make that movie, and it's a different actor. Maybe. And it's not with Hulk Hogan as a producer, and they go that other route. Yeah, but who better? I mean, Chris Hemsworth is so good as Hulk. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Such that, a that good is pick. Good ca- regardless of the news, like, that's, oh. that's great casting. He almost has so to put on a little weight. Yes. He does.